Hello and welcome back to another Looked FX video. In this video, I want to show you what compounds are and how they can speed up your workflows and make your life a lot easier. Now, I have a fresh Maya scene open. And the first thing what I want to do, hit tab to create a standard surface shader, going to the Arnold menu and finding standard surface. By default, this will create me a stage. If I shift plus on the icon see you can see it will create this material scope and it will also have, uh, it just creates this anonymous USD stage layer. Right, so by default, as I said, this is a material container, which we can name it just to make it clear. And on the inside, is where the shaders are being created. And you will notice that by default, there's always an input and output. And it might come quite naturally to you, but I'll just explain the input is essentially what is coming in from the outside to drive values on the inside. And if I, for instance, would connect a base color to the input side, if I go up a level, or you can hit U to go up, you will now see that this base color is exposed in the parameters UI. And that allows the artist to control the color without having to dive into the network. Super convenient for production workflows, but I'll speak more to it later. And on the opposite side, we have our outputs. Because we are working in a material container at this moment, this is actually sending the data to the render engine. And you can see from the shader output port, it goes to the Arnold surface port. That means whenever the Arnold render starts, it will read from this port and find this material. And you can obviously connect displacement shaders, surface shaders, volumes in here. But by default, we want to work with the Arnold surface. Now, if I click outside, if I don't select any nodes, you will see the, so the parameters of the outside material container. And as, as by default, you can expose more values. Let's say we want to create an image node. We select the Arnold image here and we connect that to our subsurface color. And let's say we want to expose this to the outside. So we can obviously expose the file name that we want to drive from the outside. And let's say we want to also expose the color space. So if I now deselect everything, you can now see that the file name is exposed and the color space is exposed as well. And, and this should just give you a, a clear indication of what the what compounds essentially are and what the, how the com material container works. What I, what I can do now is I can actually select everything here and hit Control G to create a collection, a compound of my internal nodes. And similar as before, I can dive in here and I, by default, I have my input and outputs. And that should show you that you can have nested compounds, which will give you a lot of flexibility and a lot of control. And for instance, now what I could do, because this is now a kind of a shader compound, the output would go to the Arnold surface. But if I dive in here, um, just as an example now, I could create a compound of that image. And now we just have that image stored within here. And the cool thing now is I could duplicate this by hitting Control D and I now have technically an image loader that just works quite easily. I can easily duplicate this and create custom and different image loaders. And as you know, these are now reusable. And on the top level, this is now what it would look like. I just wanted to give you a short overview of compounds and how you can expose parameters. And in the next video, we will be going into a more production example, how to properly create compounds and how you can store them and load them into your USD scenes.